So it's the next day after the election. We finally now know who our next president is going to be. And I don't really like to talk politics online, but I think it's a big, a, a, a huge lesson in this that we all can learn from. And it's something that we all need to remember now that, you know, Trump has won. I'm seeing a lot of people really like down and out right no matter what side of the table you was on in this election uh that's not really what i'm here to speak on but it's something that you need to remember that i think people are forgetting i'm seeing a lot of people super down that their you know candidate didn't win they are saying things like the world is over you know my life is over. like they're just so down and depressed because of who the president is now i'm seeing people fall out you know, with their partners, with their friends, with their family, because of differences of opinion. And I just want to say, and I also just want to know, like, at what point did we become so dependent on man, right? I've always been the type to believe that my life is in my hands and my outcome is going to be based on the things that I do and the things that I believe and the way that I move, that's going to determine the outcome of my life, right? I've never been too dependent on what anybody else outside of myself can do, right? There's always things that you can reflect on and look within yourself and say, I could have done this differently. I could have moved differently. The reason that I'm right here where I'm at right now in my life is because of the actions that I've made is because of the things that I've done, right? So now I'm seeing a lot of people so dependent on others, so dependent on who the president is going to be to determine the outcomes for their life. And I just want to remind you that you are fully in control of what you got going on in your life. Yes, there are policies and things that get put in place that may affect you. But at the end of the day, we've survived much worse. We've survived how many different presidents? It's not the end of the world. Focus on, like I always say, focus on you and yours. What I have going on in my life, in my bubble, and where I am currently in my life is a direct result of the choices that I've made and the decisions that I've made and the actions that I've taken. I'm not here where I'm at right now because of any president that's been elected in office. And so, yes, it's good to exercise your right to vote. Yes, it's good to research and look up the policies that best align with you and your family yes it's good to do all of these things but just know this is not the end of the world it's really not the world gonna keep spending you still got to get up go out and get it like you just had to do yesterday before trump won again people are actually in fear right now and actually terrified right now about what tomorrow may bring where is your faith at what point did you put all of your faith into man and then lose all of your faith into a higher power? Whatever you believe in. At what point did you lose that faith? At what point did you lose faith in yourself? At what point did you forget that you're in control of your own destiny? Not Donald Trump, not Kamala Harris. You in control. You can determine whatever outcome it is in life that you want depending on the actions that you take, depending on decisions that you make, the choices that you make, the people that you surround yourself by. When did we become so dependent on who the president of the United States is? Like, how did we get here? All the way to the point where you're actually in fear of your life. Try not to be so forced into believing whatever it is the media tells you or whatever it is your phone tells you on the internet scrolling these social media it's so much information come from so many different places that you don't know what to believe and now you're just in fear take a second take two seconds take a deep breath and just remind yourself and just remember that you've seen crazier things you you've you've dealt with crazier things and you've made it thus far you're, you've made it thus far get back to the point where you stop believing in man, you stop putting your faith in man, and you put your faith and trust in God and yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's what you came here with, and that's what you're going to leave here with. Y'all really out here losing sleep over who the president of the United States is going to be. Y'all losing friends, y'all losing family because people got a difference of opinion than you. Everybody doesn't have to think how you think. 
Everybody doesn't have to do the same things that you do. It's okay if somebody thinks differently to you. We should be able to have, that's how, that's how change happens. It has to be someone with a difference of opinion and y'all can have discourse back and forth. And you can learn from a difference of opinion. Everybody shouldn't have to think exactly like how you think. But we have to take back the control and remember that we're in control of ourselves. Donald Trump is not in control of you and your life and the actions that you take. Kamala Harris is not in control of the actions that you take. You're in control. You in control of your destiny, whether you know it or not. So don't be in fear, man. Don't be don't be scared. Don't feel that this is the end of your life because we got a new president. That's not the case, man. Remember, you are in control of your life. You make you make the certain the choices and actions that determine your outcome. Think about it. There are a lot of people that are just living in fear. They have been told one thing by the media. They've been told to believe certain things by the media. A lot of people aren't even doing their own research. They just hearing something and they rolling with it and they terrified of it. Please remember who is in charge. Please remember who you should have your faith in. You should never, ever put your faith in man. If you had so much faith and so much belief that your candidate was going to win and then they didn't. And now you're feeling like it's the end of the world. You don't truly have as much faith as you think you do. The president of the United States does not have a final say so over your life, whether you want to believe it or not. That's just what I that's just what I believe. That's just what I know. You're going to be OK. I promise you. Just like you was OK yesterday. You're going to be OK. If, if, your, if your party didn't win, shake it off. Understand that life keep going. The world keeps spinning. People keep moving. You still got to go go to work. The bills are still due. The kids still need food on their table. All of these things are still happening. This is not the end of the world. Get your faith back. Take your faith out of man. Put your faith back in yourself. Put your faith back in your higher power. Tell yourself that daily. I am in control of my life. I'm in control of my destiny. Not an outside person. Not someone outside of you. Always remember that. I've told young cats before that was about to crash out. I'm talking doing crazy stuff. And they like, but man, he said this to me. Or he did, he did something that I didn't like. And it's like, all right. But who's in control of how you respond? You in control of that. So if somebody said something to you or somebody looked at you and it made you so angry to the point where you reacted and put yourself in a crazy situation. That's on you. You were in control of your actions. You was in control of however it is you responded to something somebody said to you. Always remember that. Stop shifting the blame and putting the blame on other things and other outside people and other outside sources. Someone shouldn't be able to say something to you and cause you to get out of character. Remember that you in control. So you done went out and you done did something crazy. You can't blame them. You got to blame yourself. I've had to have these conversations with myself. If I let somebody get me out of my character, it's not their fault. It's my fault. I need to be more in control of my own emotions in my own of my own actions i need to be more in control of that not no one else i just had to get on here and say that man because i'm seeing too many people that's just entirely too distraught and entirely too torn down right now emotionally based off of who won the presidency that's really crazy to me and i just want to provide some sort of comfort to you by telling you that you're gonna be all right it's gonna be okay you in control of your destiny. You in control of your outcome. Go pray. Y'all forgetting that. You got too much faith in man. You got too much belief in man. You got too much feeling that someone else has this much control and power over your life, man. You got to get that power back. You got to remind yourself. You're going to be okay. Y'all already know I got a Patreon in the description below. Exclusive content. Access to me. Whatever you might need. Uh, ideas that you might have on videos. All that you can shoot them my way. Hit the subscribe button. The share button. Like the channel, all of those good things, and I got more videos on the way, man. Peace.